Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So 2018 is now over, or almost over, and uh, I'd like to take some time to go back and look at my year, uh, my year 2018 and what happened to me personally or otherwise. So let's take a look. First thing is, I started that channel. Uh, obviously, I started this YouTube channel at the end of February and uh, well, I just did it to try and learn how to edit a video. So, the first video I launched was titled My Linux Experiment with Elementary OS, which is the OS I used at the time and I still use right now. Uh, I edited it on PTV on Elementary OS Loki and it was kind of a mess. It took me ages, I was rambling on for hours while dragging my mouse all around, didn't cut much, didn't edit much. And so the final result was pretty bad, my microphone was terrible, it was the one on my laptop. My thumbnail was even worse than the ones I do uh, right now, but still, that was a result and the comments were mainly positive. So, thumbs up for that, I liked it. Uh, now for a few numbers, I am almost at 150 videos in 2018, which is, I think, a good number, pr pretty much too high, I think. Uh, I completed two whole gaming series, one on The Witcher 1 and one on Dawn of War Soulstorm, playing as the Sisters of Battle, they are still online. They were received with mixed receptions, uh, not many comments, not many views, uh, probably the games didn't click uh, with people and they probably didn't care that the games were played on Linux or on Windows. I played them on Linux with Wine, but people probably didn't give a, a rat's ass. So, well... Uh, I started a gaming series on Half-Life 2 as well, but I didn't finish it because I already had played the game a lot of years back and, uh, well, the lack of interest of people and the time it took for me just didn't make it worth it, so I stopped it right now. I might finish it at some point just to say it's a concluded one, but as of now I have no plans to uh, going back to it for now. Um, I also talked a lot about elementary OS, about GNOME, about KDE, about Deep in Linux, and a few other topics uh, here and there, and uh, mainly my videos have been in the screen recorded style, but I tried my hand at some FaceTime camera like this one, and uh, I think the results are okay, so I'm gonna keep doing that. I also reached almost 7,000 subscribers at the end of December, which is fantastic to me, because when I started the channel, as I said, I just wanted to learn how to edit videos, and I had no plans on uh, it growing so fast. As a matter of fact, I had a small objective of 1,000 subs at the end of, of the year. So thank you guys for your support, thank you guys for watching my stuff, and uh, this has really made a difference to me, really motivated me. I also got a Twitter account, believe it or not, I never had used Twitter before March of, or April of 2018. Uh, I actually had no plans or no interest in creating a Twitter account, but since the official Elementary OS account tweeted one of my videos at the time, I thought it would be nice to create an account just to say thank you, and so that's what I did, and I started engaging with the community, with the people there, I found a few amazing persons, and I really like talking to you guys there, so I have a very small following of a little less than 400 followers, but still I find it very nice to engage in small conversations here and there, so, well, I'm gonna keep it. I also switched to Caden Live. Uh, I started editing my videos on PTV for about a month or two, and then I wanted something with a little bit more oomph, a little bit more power, a little bit more effects and transitions, so I moved on to Caden Live, which has been good. It has been good. Uh, I had a few problems with crashes, with out of memory freezing all my computer. Uh, I had a problem with it refusing to render, plain and simple. Uh, I still have some bugs, uh, not letting me add the transitions the way I could add them before, just by clicking on the little corner in the bottom of a video clip. So it's been, uh, there's been up and downs, but as of now I use the Flatpak version and it works perfectly for me, almost no problems, except that little corner thing I just mentioned. And so I'm, I plan on keep using it. I'm gonna try my hand at other editors, maybe at some point OpenShot, just to see how it works. Uh, maybe DaVinci Resolve at some point as well, even though it's not open source, so I might not keep using it, but I wanna try it. Uh, I also got a sponsorship, amazingly. I was approached by Ritual Music, which is a website that lets uh, video professionals or video amateurs uh, download and pay for music for their personal or professional projects. Uh, they actually categorize music in the playlists, which is pretty cool, and their tracks are awesome. So I did two little sponsorship spots for them. Uh, I have no idea if that helped at all, or absolutely not. But I enjoyed that, I enjoyed the chance that it was given me, and they also gave me a few free tracks, which is awesome in my book, so thumbs up to them, and uh, I'm very grateful about that. 
Uh, and I also got monetized uh, at, in the middle of December, actually. Uh, it, it had been four or five months since I passed the threshold, uh, that is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, I think. I actually made $70 uh, for the month of December, which is awesome in my book, it's pretty nice. And so I plan uh, when this revenue has stabilized or when I can pretty much estimate how much I can make each month with that channel, uh, I'll try to give a little bit more back to the community. I already contribute on Patreon to Elementary OS, uh, but I also contribute to GIMP and I think I'm gonna up the contributions with about half of what I make each month. I think it's uh, fair enough. I would also love to contribute to KD Life directly, but I have only found a way to contribute to the whole KDE project, which I am not against. But I would love to put that money specifically for Caden Live and I couldn't find a specific donation button. So if you know about any, let me know and I will definitely support them a little bit more. And uh, so what's next for 2019? Well, I have a few things in mind. Uh, I'm not going to ramble too much about that, but I still have a lot of desktop environments to explore. I still haven't taken a look at XFCE, at LXQT, at Mate, Cinnamon, Budgie. There's at least those files that I want to explore and there are a few window managers I could try at my handouts. Uh, such as IWM or i3. I also want to make time for a monthly Linux news review, not just giving you the news since they will be pretty old by the time I get around to make a video about them, but give you my opinions on those facts and on those news. So probably this format will be the one that I choose. It's gonna be a shorter one, probably about maybe three to five minutes tops, so I won't bother you too much with that. Tell me if that's something that might interest you or not. Uh, I would also love to make some Caden Live tutorials. Uh, some people have asked me how I made my stuff with Caden Live. They thought it wasn't possible to do what I do with Caden Live, and I was pretty surprised since I don't spend too much time editing, and I didn't find it quite hard to find the ways to do what the simple things I do in my videos. So maybe why not give back to the community and uh, show the, show you guys how I do my stuff. Um, that might interest you. Let me know in the comments as well. And that's it, I think. So I hope you guys will spend a beautiful uh, end of year 2018 and I hope your 2019 year will start freaking amazingly. Thank you guys for all your support. Thank you guys for being with me from the start and I will see or you will see me in the next one. Bye. If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.